Hey everyone, Steph here, and today we'll be checking out the new fitness facial interface for Quest 2 from VR Cover. I mean, new is a strong word because I've been postponing this video probably like two months already. The vacations happened, scheduling was a bit rough, I'm still sickly, like things are still happening, but I sat my royal ass down and finally do this video. In comparison to every other review I've done on this channel from all the accessories I got. I've been a fan of VR cover since I started VR essentially. They were always specialized in facial interfaces and the Quest one is still yet to beat to this day. I've got some additional stuff besides the main thing I'm gonna mention mostly today. I didn't ask for it but it's just pretty cool that a company like that entrusted me with more equipment. At the end of the day it's business, it's money. And if actual VR cover reached out to me well you made it honestly on the VR YouTube. So today on the palette we have a fitness facial interface and foam set for Quest 2. Long story short it's a successor of the original facial interface that released somewhere the same time as the headset itself. It's supposed to let more air through the vents that are printed on the inside part of the piece. It is much more comfortable for longer play sessions and increases FUV depending on your face structure and the foam you'll use. This was pretty much my first one that I got and you can immediately see that it has less complicated structure and a more like basic and entry design. When I first got Quest 2 I immediately noticed the difference jumping from the first one with comfortability and specifically fogging. The new one essentially was scrapped from like venting or just cooling system inside like sometimes you would feel small air like going through your eyes and in the first few weeks like after maybe 20 minutes of playing I would start not seeing things doesn't really matter in what temperature you play in because your face generates heat no matter what and it was a big problem. This is also the stock interface you get with your headset originally. You can see there are some differences with the VR cover one essentially with this nose flap that didn't really help the situation so I was taking it off immediately. The fogging was soft partially however and it switched from like 20 minutes to one hour which for someone that records gameplays wasn't optimal still. And then on top of that the comfortability issue came around because the leather here is not the same that was used in the first interface on the Quest 1 so there's no way you would spend like 3 hours in it, it was just impossible. Now however we have this new one, well newish. Pretty much immediately all around the interface you have just ventilation everywhere. Like the middle wasn't really touched, it was the size that got a really big change. It's called fitness facial interface. To me, this is like the 2.0 version, because you're gonna sweat no matter what in VR, whoever you are, for the same price of the better features from the original. Like this is what I use on the daily now, there's no way I would be playing Quest 2 without it. At least with my personal conditions here, which are not pleasant at all. Quick note about the nose flaps, they essentially kinda reduces the light that goes through the interface from the bottom. It's not really for me, I can't tell if it works or not. My nose is not straight at all. So I'm not a person to try it <laughs> and comparing the comfortability from the first one I can just play VR how much I want. Quick news flash from what I got additionally in the package. This is like a protective ring on the halo you put on the controller. Currently I have the Kiwi one which is kinda a hit and miss. It's been protecting well so far, it's just sometimes it can come off. This if I would not use the extended handle is pretty cool by itself because it's very sturdy like rubbery but like it's a hard one. There's no way it's gonna go flying when you hit something because it caps the trigger button from the bottom. Not necessarily for me but I can see this as being a cool protection. Speaking of the controllers, I also got a small grips for them. They make a controller a bit thicker in your hands and making more secure with a strap on the side. I'm very much used to the Kiwi ones at this point and I don't feel like I could go back. Also in terms of the build quality, Kiwi is more convenient, there are no like you know side bumps with the velcros over the halo. That makes the installation of other attachments a bit more annoying. This could be fun for people that are new to VR, again not necessarily for me. I also got some hygiene covers but I don't share my headset with anyone and different thickness foam pad that you get in the interface anyways. If your eyelashes touch the lenses it's better to use a thicker one to have a space in between or put like a glasses spacer that you got in the box with the headset. That would be essentially all I see that I got. At this point I have upstairs a box that's dedicated for the accessories I got in the whole history channel. I'm very grateful as always for any opportunity I get to try out things. It just means that my my opinions are noticed 
doesn't matter if it's good or not and that the feedback I give is not for nothing. I think I supposed to have a discount code for the VR cover stuff, but I believe something went wrong in the affiliate program. If there's eventually gonna be one, you'll see in this video description and later on just like with the lenses. Many thanks to VR cover for sending me stuff very late review but let's just say I was intensively trying them out to see the quality of it which is technically true because I'm staying with this interface and I'm not going anywhere with it see you around